Hey, hey, hey! This is a boat doctor on this 22, maybe 22, 23 uh, Willys with the 225, a brand new long block. Uh, it's new, so kind of take it a little easy on breaking it in. It does have that little bit low end lope to it. I'm running this kicker motor just so I can do the video here. Uh, the buck has got me a little bit concerned. It locks in forward really good, uh, but reverse, it kind of sticks there a little bit in reverse, like the buck wants to drop down, so when you fire it up, it wants to go backwards. That, it ain't locking all the way in reverse, I don't believe, if I remember right. We popped up a lot right here. See right there, that ain't all the way in there. Lock, but that's really loose. And if you go forward, see how that that bucket just drops, and it ain't locking all the way in forward. Now reverse it locks. It's pretty good. You see right there, it kind of wants to go backwards. And I'll show you right here. It ain't all the way down. You got that little bit of slop, but it runs like a cut cap. Okay, <coughs> so we're gonna shut this off. <coughs> Throttle back, kill it, trim this baby up. Lop that baby down, make sure that's there, trim her down. And it doesn't blow out of the water, it does really good, doesn't cavitate. And see right there's where they should be sitting, just to where that bowl's just under water. Right there, it seems like it ain't low enough, but this is a big boat so it doesn't lift a lot. So then see if you can fire it up. It's not bad, it's kind of holding there, but still if I, now if this is in neutral and give it a little gas, see how it's going in reverse. The only thing that concerns me if that ever, I guess, popped out forwards, more concerning than uh, backwards, but it seems like it's locking in pretty good and forward. It's just that reverse, so maybe that's the way it's always been. Seemed like it was a little uh, like if you just stay here, but that's these big V6s. They see like they got a little bit of a lope, like right there. Yeah, I think.